what is happening people and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another custom tactics video hope you all had a good holiday so far and um, so yeah let's just jump straight into this one now so the thinking behind this one is the 4334 we've done this many many times before however with the new with the latest patch and and the aggressive aggression and the high pressure that you you come up against you know whether it be in rivals or weekend league you know what I'm talking about. After 30 seconds, you kind of know where you're going. You kind of know what kind of game you're going to get, especially if you're stuck in your own box and stuck in your own half. It gets you a little bit down. It gets you thinking, I'm just going to quit. However, before you even get into that mindset, try this. This is a game changer for me. So it's balance 45, 71. We're going to go back to the 71 depth again because it's the automatic offside trap. And your players will, when you're attacking, your defenders will push right up into your opponent's half. In actual fact, there'll be a couple of meters inside it. Um, and that's what you want to do. You want to squeeze your opponent and stop them squeezing you because that's what they're doing to you effectively. Um, so, yeah, build up play. We're going to go with fast build up, direct passing, 46 width. We're going to go for seven in the box, one for corners, and one for free kicks because obviously we don't want to be caught on the counter in these situations. Um, so I'm going to drop in some gameplay. I will explain everything as I go along and how this works um, on new gen as well as old gen. And then we'll jump into the instructions. So you're going to see why the 71 depth is still viable in a second, guys. Um, so what you can see is my, all of my players squeezing up the pitch, pushing as high up as they possibly can get. And then you'll see it right here. You can see that they're all in my opponent's half. We're trying to limit that space. We're trying to condense the pitch. We're trying to smother our opponent, which you can see we do really well here. So we're using only the front three players to press. Uh, we're alternating between the front three players so we can get a quick counter going. A through ball there to Ronaldo. A little bit of skill. And we're in on goal. That fast build-up, you can see how everybody is belting forward, how everybody is running forward as well. And again, you can see we're squeezing in. We're using just the front three to press. We're bringing our striker back to defend. He gets a ball out to the wing, to our right back. and get it out wide. And then we're easy, easy cut back right there. That's why that fast build-up is so good, because players will bomb forward. And that's exactly what you want to try and squeeze your opponents. And again, another example, using the front three only to press, uh, allowing the rest of the team to um, to try and get into position and get forward. Um you can kind of see on the radar where my defense is as well. It's sitting in my opponent's half, which is exactly where you want them to do the, to start the squeezing. Uh, and again, you're in the box. Lucky goal here. But anyway, they all count. So this is the theme of this particular formation. You will win probably four or five more games than you normally would using this kind of setup. Um, now, obviously, you know, it, you, you will concede goals. It's not foolproof, but you can see here I've got nearly everybody in, in my opponent's half. You, you are going to concede. It, it's a given. Um, there's nothing you can do about that. It is what it is with this game. However, conceding isn't an issue, providing you're winning. And those wins is what you need. So if you can get four or five extra wins, you can get those three or four extra wins in the weekend league. And you can start basically smothering your opponent, stopping them playing. You'll find a lot more people get frustrated and quit on you than they normally would. Obviously, that's not what you really want. You want to play your games. You want to be able to enjoy the game. However, I think you guys will agree that a lot of us that are not the pros, we do come up against this type of frustrating gameplay and we just want to throw the game away. We just think, ah, you know, forget it. We'll just throw it away. So, yeah, anyway, I hope that kind of makes sense um, to where I'm going with this, this kind of setup. Definitely, definitely definitely give it a try it is well worth the try um if you just follow the instructions that i'm going to give you in a second um and then you use your front three to press you, I, I guarantee you'll win extra games guys so let's jump into the instructions so the instructions on this one are a little bit different to my previous 433 because i want this to be a high pressure high aggression squeeze my opponents into their own half and that's where i want to keep them i want to effectively make them want to give up so we're going to go with comes across the sweeper keeper. We're going to go the left back and right back and stay back on overlap. Again, I've explained this many times before why I do that because I change it in game. Uh, we're going to go for your 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 DM effectively is stay back, stay on the edge of box, cover center. Your CM you're going to have on get forward, get in the box across this cover center. We're going to have the cam or the CF. We're going to have on balance, getting the box for crosses. Your wide players, we're going to have on getting behind and getting the box for crosses. And then your striker, you're going to stay central, getting behind and stay forward. Now, with this CM get forward, 
you're going to be attacking with five players. Um, you're going to actually have seven players attacking when you have the left back and right back on uh, get forward, which you do on the D-pad in the game. And you can see you're squeezing, squeezing your opponent so tight that every every clearance they make is, is a panic clearance. Every pass they make is a panic pass. And you basically want to frustrate the life out of them. And that sounds like a really crappy way to play FIFA or FC24. But... You know, you, you guys understand where I'm coming from because that's how everybody else seems to be playing at the minute, especially, you know, the higher divisions you get in rivals and the weekend league and stuff. You know, we've all been there. We've all been frustrated and we've all been like, yeah, I can't be arsed with this game anymore because of the way it gets you. This is a formation and a setup to counter that frustration. So please, please, please give this a try. Let me know in the comment section what you think. Uh, hit that like button if you like what you see. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already. I'm only 20 away from 500. I'd love to make 500 before 2024. 